for Coursera. Get yourself a coffee. I'm going to be about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and get lunch. Um, breakfast, I should say. But I'm just going to show these good people a little bit about Georgetown, can I? Enjoy. Have fun. Thank you. we Will do. Thank you. Good morning. So, this is a cafe called Wheelers. Thank you. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a, quite a trendy little place to be. And we haven't actually eaten or drunk in there before. Let me just move you up. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it looks, it looks nice enough. Basically, the time is half past nine in the morning and Chinese New Year was just a couple of days ago. So I uh, wanted to make sure we could find somewhere that was definitely open. But I'm giving you a little walk around Georgetown, Georgetown Penang the aftermath, let's call it that, the aftermath of Chinese New Year. I hope you all had a good Chinese New Year wherever you are in the world and that you made some New Year's resolutions. Sarah and I have actually made plenty of New Year's resolutions and you're going to see those over the coming months. We've got some crazy challenges planned for ourselves actually. So uh, that's, going to be, that's going to be an interesting watch. So what we're going to do on this walk is going to be a lot shorter than last time because I'm, I did that first walk and said, right, everybody, this is a test. This is a test. And the feedback that came back was actually a lot of people liked it, but it's a bit long, Neil. Do you know what I mean? We've got stuff to do with our lives. Don't want to listen to you all bloody morning. Sorry, I swore there. Um, so this one is going to be 15, maybe 20 minutes long um, and taking you through some of the key parts of Georgetown. Basically going to take you down into Little India and going to take you through to um, Armenia Street, which is where all the street art is, but really just showing the town wake up in the morning. So it should be should be fun I hope and people who said the last video was quite long but let me give you let me give you some context what I wanted to do and really what I like to do in these videos is to give you a sense of perspective because often when I watch YouTube videos and that includes my own I look at it and I think, oh, that looks good. Oh, they visited that, 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 that. That looks brilliant. And then you're thinking, well, is all that close together? Or did they do that over three or four days? So the idea when I made that video in Kuala Lumpur that was 40 odd minutes long was, I see a lot of people making videos in Petaling Street, which is, uh, which is great. And then you see the Petronas Towers. And I thought, I always wondered what the, well, the distance was. So the idea of that video, oh, hang on, oh, wet floor alert. Oh, I don't want to ruin her floor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I actually um, used that 40 minutes to walk from one side to another. Look at that lovely temple just over the road there. And if I get the camera in the right position as I walk past here, I'll get the, the sun coming through the clouds behind it. Almost an artistic shot. Look at that, beautiful. Now what I like about Georgetown is just looking at all of the, the buildings. They're, they're kind of, a lot of them Chinese influenced. And you see old and new, or more a case that you see things that are slightly dilapidated next to the same type of building which someone's renovated. And to be able to see that kind of juxtaposition next to each other is really quite cool, I think. So, a quick question. Did you see the video that we released two weeks ago? I'm going to be talking about that video for some time because uh, it's life-changing. If not for you, then it certainly is for me. So that video, which was titled The Greatest Story Never Told, did you see it? If you haven't seen it, and if this is the first time you've ever seen one of our videos, 
please, if you don't do anything else today, go and watch our video. We met the most inspiring person that I think we could ever meet. By the way, we've now turned the corner. <laughs> we've turned the corner into Little India. And uh, you see the, the, the sense and the feel here changes. Certainly when you look at the food that's on offer as well. This is where you move into all of the delights of the curries, which is fantastic. But yeah, that video was just something un... something you just couldn't create out of the blue. It was something that, so obviously it was created out of the blue. What am I talking about? Come on, Neil. What I mean is, it's not something you could plan. It was meeting somebody on and off chance and learning basically the meaning of life over a coffee and a croissant. And uh, so please, please, if you do know nothing else, go back and check that out. Look at this on the floor, look at that. Gorgeous. And that's, uh, that's all done with, with paint, local people do that. And it's done as a welcoming gesture outside people's houses and businesses welcoming people in. Excuse the noise, that's shutters going up at the start of the day here in Georgetown. By the way, I did hear in the comments people saying, Do you know what, Neil? It would be good if every now and again you shut your trap so we can actually hear the sounds of wherever you are. So I'm gonna try and wind it in a little bit and give a gap so you can hear what's going on. You see just in the distance there, the uh, archway as the entrance to Little India Penang. So if you are new to our channel, we are to go Rome. Sarah and I both sold everything we own two years ago and retired early to travel the world for the next 10 years. We're in our second year of that. So far, we've been to places like Mexico. Uh, where have we been? <laughs> Thailand, I don't know, where have we been? Where have we been? Turkey, Greece, the US even. And I'm sure we've been to other places. We must have done. And uh, we're enjoying absolutely every minute of it. And we're putting it here onto YouTube for your delectation. So there's some, there's some percussion going on. Maybe I should pop over and see what's going on. That sounds like it might be some form of dragon dance. I think that because I can see smoke. Have you seen, have you seen our uh, Chinese New Year video? This place is the place to be for that. There is something happening. Just looking, just looking at the sound meter on my microphone. That's going to take some post-production to try and get that not sounding horrific. But anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, the Chinese New Year here in Penang is absolutely massive. Uh, the majority of people in Penang are of Chinese descent. So it's probably one of the most interesting places on the planet you could go to, to experience such a thing. There's a central fire station. 
beautiful. Everything down here is beautiful. And I'm going to attempt to cross the road. Let's see, yeah, that seems to work. That's good, if it doesn't work, you won't see this video. That's the way it works. So yeah, so we sold everything to travel the world. Everything we own is basically in Sarah's mum's wardrobe. And then we carry everything else with us. And uh, you may be interested in joining us on that journey, but I'll tell you, if you're not interested, don't, don't subscribe because it's not for everyone. We're just enjoying our lives and just trying to share the fun that we see with you. And I've got to say, it's not for everyone. And I feel that about YouTube. There's, there's channels that I love and channels that I like, but you know, don't subscribe unless you think this would be fun. And what are you going to subscribe for? Well, here's a thing. It is now January 2023. Sarah and I have got our year mapped out almost totally. There's a few gaps in the middle, but almost totally mapped out. And we're doing something totally different to what we've done in our first year and a half. Hey, look at this, this place. Saw this the other day. Look at this. Let me lift the camera so you can see it a bit better. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's beautiful. I'm thinking that might be, I'm almost certain that's part of the Kongxi Temple, which you will have seen in the Chinese New Year video. Um, I keep going off on tangents, do apologize for that. But um, yeah, we're doing something very different to what we've done in our first year and a half of travel. We're trying out some things. We've had some ideas. I thought, well, that would be a bit different, wouldn't it? So uh, you're going to see a lot of challenging, well, when I say challenging, we cha you're going to see challenges this year of us trying out different things that we've not done before. So just stop to show you that we are on Armenia Street here. And this is kind of tourist central, if you can call it that. So you'll see lots of art installations like um, these things coming out of the floor, which I think they're Sikhs, I don't know what they are. And you see all of the street art around as well, which you can engage with, which is really cool. Very nice. As the day goes on, this becomes more and more bustling at the moment. This is, I would call, the lull before the storm. There's a place down here that does Turkish cuisine that I was desperate to go into the other day and Sarah wouldn't let me. I don't know why she does that. I wonder if I can find it because I'd like to visit that before we move on from Penang. Anyway, as you can see, there's all the gift shops. You want a hat? He's got hats. Do you want bags? He's got bags. It's all here. And you see all of the red lanterns up signifying the Chinese New Year. Red is a very lucky colour to the Chinese. Incidentally as well, four is not a very lucky number. So the apartment that we're staying in is on floor 23A. So there's no four, there's no 14, there's no 24, there's no 34. There you go. You didn't know that, did you? I've told you. So in all directions, when you look here, it's just kind of a little bit beautiful. So is Georgetown something that's been on your list previously or not? And now, having seen us here for a, for a few weeks, is it something that is now on your list? I'd be intrigued to know. I'd also like to not get run over, but you can't make sure that everything doesn't happen. Here you've got uh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah said something funny the other day. As we saw this road, she said, ah, that's the road with all the umbrellas over the top. I said, uh, is it? How can you be certain? <laughs> that is called stating the obvious. Anyway, oh, I'm ruining someone's photograph. Sorry. 
<laughs> ruining someone's photograph story of my life but you can see look cat murals all around here just very very beautiful i actually want to walk back down this road but i'm concerned i'm just going to annoy people so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go left at the end here left again and i don't know how long i've been going oh look putty cats don't know how long i've been going morning how are we everybody okay what's news what's news he looks very tired chinese new year really got to you it's the it's probably the uh fireworks the fireworks are going off in the middle of the night that's why he's so tired look there's more putty cats up here he wants to come on camera you coming on camera mm. do you want to yeah okay well very pleased to meet you very pleased to meet you so let's head back around here we're coming back into kind of uh uh, little India district. I'm gonna take a left. So this is still, this kind of video is still in test mode. So very interested to know whether this is something you're of interest in. You have interest in. So if I can just clarify, what I'm saying is not that we're going to change our channel to me just walking around doing stuff like this. Not at all. What I'm saying is that if we're in a noteworthy place maybe once a month or once every six weeks and I think it deserves a little walk around video like this and I'll make it so what do you think is that something that you like if it is please for goodness let me know in the comments below because that's how I can make a decision and this video is a lot shorter than the last one snappy let's call it snappy so do you prefer this, the snappy style, or do you like the more languid style of video where I stroll around talking inanity uh, for 40 minutes? So it's your decision. Do you want inanity for 15, 20 minutes, or would you prefer inanity for a little bit longer? So just one more thing I want to show you, and this will be the wrap up of this video and that is we'll just get around the corner here uh -huh. we'll go this way so we're not impacting people's lives more than we need to there we go i've done that circuit there ah let me just quickly tell you something you see these the metal signs spoke about this in a previous video a few weeks ago so this is saying armenia street up there it says the oh hang on Let's go up a couple. It says the, uh, I can't read, Grand Float Procession is held in the year of the tiger to wash away bad luck and bring great wealth and health. So that's what this is depicting. And the cool thing is that all around site, because uh, this is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, they've got these QR codes next to these metal signs, which you can click on and get more insight. And actually, if you do that now, if you, if you watch this on TV or if you've got another device you can use QR code, you can click on that and actually uh, see what this is all about. And there it is from afar. We've kind of made videos in basically all of that area and me and Sarah are staying kind of way out of town, right down here. So we're quite a distance away from downtown Penang. Um, so one last thing, this is where we'll finish up. It seems apt to finish at a small, beautiful Chinese temple. So your actions after this, people, is one, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Two, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time making videos about things that are of no interest. Three, drop in the comments what you thought of it. Four, if this is your cup of tea, then please subscribe because we've got some fun stuff coming up. And let me just remind you to go back to that video, the inspirational video of the best, the greatest story never told. There we go. Really hope you enjoyed this little wander around Georgetown, Penang. You will see Sarah in the next video. She does exist. Really enjoyed doing these. 
really hope you enjoy watching them. I like talking rubbish for about 15 minutes. If you enjoy listening to rubbish for 15 minutes, I think we got a match made in heaven. We'll see you next time. You've been watching Two Go Rome. Bye.